Hi, this is Ryan with Screen Rant's featured news of the day. Working with various levels of involvement on Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad, Justice League 1 and 2, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, Zack Snyder and his creative partner Deborah have a lot on their plates. Oh yeah, and they're also married. Oh yeah, and they also have eight kids between the two of them. Oh yeah, and two dogs. The power couple sat down with The Hollywood Reporter recently to talk about how they managed to juggle all these projects. During the conversation, they touched upon a lot of points that are interesting to comic book fans and movie fans alike. For one, that R-rated cut of Batman vs Superman. A lot of people online made the assumption that they chose to cut an R-rated version of the film after the success of Deadpool. The couple laughed this off, saying, we didn't just shoot it last week, and we also didn't edit it last week either. Fair point, Snyders. Also, according to Zack, the parts that were cut are not hardcore R-rated. It was just enough violence to tip the meter into the R rating. So sucks to be you, group of weirdos hoping for Batman nudity. They also touch upon all the pressure surrounding the success of Dawn of Justice. Zack mentioned that yes, there's pressure, but all the decisions made in the filmmaking process were based on instinct, so there's not really anything to be done about it. Deborah Snyder also mentioned the importance of doing the characters justice because of their rich histories. Especially since this is the first time we'll be seeing Wonder Woman, a powerful feminist icon. Overall, their philosophy for creating movies in the DC universe is that the movies are filmmaker driven. As an example, they said that David Ayer brought his own tone and feel to Suicide Squad, and Patty Jenkins will do the same with Wonder Woman. They want to give the filmmakers the freedom to tell the story in the way that it needs to be told. And they don't want the films to feel like they've been made by committee. Which is great, because when too many hands and egos come into the mix, the end product ends up being not great. Finally, when asked if they're annoyed by the constant comparisons between DC and Marvel, they said it doesn't really bother them. They said it's natural for people to compare them in some ways because they're two giant comic book powerhouses, and it creates fun conversations on the internet. But in truth, they said the average moviegoer doesn't really know about The Clash. What do you think of the points made by Zack and Deb Snyder? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and make sure to keep it on Screen Rant for more movie news.